good morning to everyone welcome so we are um, we've been observing the self and the body by the self in exercise 2 and we've been doing step 1 trying to observe seeing that i am there and the self and also being able to see that the body is there. And we were discussing this and thought we would reflect on this, that how do we decide or how do we conclude that we are there and how do we conclude that the body is there? How do we see this? Uh, uh, like. Uh... I decided to go for a walk, mm -hmm. uh, thinking a lot of things, whether to go for a walk or whether to call friends, all those things. So that uh, you told, okay, uh, uh, you, uh, you know, it is self. Self is deciding the things. Like, you no, know, there were a lot of options for me. And finally, I decided. Uh, but then uh, how do you know the body is there? Uh, I was just analyzing, Didi. When I was walking, I was not, of course, then I instructed the body. I was, uh, it didn't go through my mind, but it went automatically. I instructed the body to go in this way, the way there were two, three ways. So, uh, myself instructed, uh, so that's why it went to the, uh, it went forward. No, so mm -hmm. going forward is by the body. Even, uh, I'm not, I don't know whether I'm correct. Then I saw, I saw a lake. Uh, so in uh, to go over there also myself is deciding because when I saw the lake I thought that uh, it was little inside there might be a temple usually in the in the temple here we have the lake so I thought I'll go and see the temple so I changed my route uh, but on the way I found out the way was little slopey so uh, there I made little careful to I know if I walk fast I'll fall down so uh, I walked very slowly. Mm -hmm. So that instruction is given to the body, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. so then uh, uh, I was not observing all those things, but when he told me where is the body, then like now I'm analyzing, uh, uh, I'm giving the, from the self, the instruction is given to the body. So then you come to know the body is there. See, right now, if you close your eyes, yeah? Yeah. Wherever you are sitting or, you know, whichever position we are in. If you close your eyes, can you make out the body is there? Yes, the body is there. How are you making it out? Uh, we have the image of the body, no? So you are recalling the image because eyes yeah, are closed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Supposing I ask you, um, take off your footwear hmm, for a moment. Hmm. Put one foot on the bare ground. Can you do that? Take uh, By closing your... Uh, I didn't get the question, did he? Supposing you are sitting on a chair. Hmm. Close your eyes. Hmm. Take off your slipper from your one foot. Hmm. Put that foot on the ground, bare ground, oh. on the floor. Yeah. Do you feel something on the foot? Uh, I can feel the, ex uh, my foot is on the ground, no, Didi? So that, that sensation I can uh, observe. Yeah. So similarly, this is what is being said. That you know that the body is there because you are observing the sensation. Mm -hmm. Some sensation is there. You read that sensation, so you know the body is there. Now yeah. open your eyes. Now open your eyes. Now how do you know that the body is there? Same question. Hmm? Yeah, with the eyes we can see the body. Ah. So with the eyes you can see the body. Same mm -hmm. answer. This is a sensation, isn't it? Yeah. Through yeah. a sense organ, the eye. So the image is falling 
on the eye image not just of the body of so many things around but i read the sensation that i want to read at that time mm -hmm. and i say okay body is there i can see it isn't it yeah so this is yeah. what we were saying many times we don't pay attention like ah we don't pay attention that is different this is why so many times we are so busy with ourselves we don't we don't pay attention to the body mm. because when i was walking i was observing when i was walking the straight path i didn't give up i didn't give attention to the body. it just went like that but when i found <laughs> the road was little <laughs> i stopped i like no i walked carefully uh so that time we are observing it yes i yes so so many times we are not aware yeah. no yeah things are happening are they happening automatically or am i giving some instruction and then it is happening but i may not have i cannot recall that because i was not aware at that time if i was aware i would recall that you walk down a flight of stairs hmm? mm. and you when you are beginning to do that you pay attention and very carefully you go down supposing it's dark you can't see so you are going down very carefully because you don't know this you have not been going on this every day it's a new place so you go very carefully that you know you should not fall isn't it yeah so you are giving instruction to the body you are aware also you are conscious of the outside and you are going now you get familiar with those steps you may not pay that much attention to this outside thing but somewhere you have given some instruction and then the body is following mm -hmm. but now we are not paying attention so much conscious attention you go driving to a place you are going first time you don't know where it is you are paying a lot of attention on the road isn't it yes sir i need to find out which way and so did is it this way is it that way maybe you consult the map and all that but you are trying to see the places and you are trying to see you know supposing there is something on the way uh, you should pass by so and so petrol pump so you are looking around where is this petrol pump what is so you are trying to pay attention to the outside also while driving isn't it yes yes you start going on this road every day now see what happens are you still paying attention like that no 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 now you may be busy with your thoughts thoughts yeah, yeah. but at the same time you are also giving those instructions to the body to drive to stop to break when something comes in the way or something like that but you may not recall because you are busy with something else at that time but the self has the capacity to pay attention inside outside you know mm -hmm. to the self also what is going on in the self to the body also to the interaction with the outside world also all that is possible question is are we aware about it? that's why that first step in exercise 1 be aware every moment that every moment when you put then you can see that how many times we slip but that potential is there and it will slowly you know we are moving towards that slowly if it is important to us we will do that but if right now we don't see the significance or we don't see the importance we are paying attention to something else that seems more important then we don't pay attention inside so we lose awareness inside for that moment make sense no yes sir yes, didi yeah okay thank you didi thank you yeah I see am... what happens is if i have happiness within me mm -hmm. then i don't pay so much attention to the outside that you know at mm -hmm. least i don't um i pay attention as and when needed 
Hmm. But I don't base my happiness on that. Hmm. Hmm. Meaning, if something is not to my liking, I don't become unhappy. Hmm. Hmm. Because within me, I have the right feeling. Hmm. So I am happy with it. Hmm. Hmm. With that happiness, I try to sort out whatever the issue is outside. That sorting out capacity is not there means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and why we are, um, you know. You so said, I will be I blaming. Be, you said I'll, one second. I'll be That's blaming it. the other self. Uh -huh. I'll be blaming the situation, or yes. I'll be blaming myself because I am not competent enough. Yeah. So let the let the time. It may take one year. It may take one day. It may take years together to solve that things. So I'll be always in the state of disarmony on, uh -huh. because it is not according to my. Ex so I should not expect. Again, you see all these things again come. Yeah. Uh, again, there is nothing wrong in expecting something. No? Mm -hmm. You behave nicely with somebody. You expect mm -hmm. them to behave the same way with mm -hmm. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what you can do, or what you can feel mm -hmm. within you, that is your that, choice, and you can certainly do that. That that is what I'm. That is where I One am second. failing. One second. Mm -hmm. When we are competent, we we can do it, and even now, mm. at times, we can see that we can do it. At mm. other times, we may not be doing it. Yes, yes, it? yes. But when it comes to the outside, mm. is it all in your control? No, it is not no. in my control. No. So then, you know, we may expect something, but not necessary that our expectation will be fulfilled. Mm. Mm. If I can see that, I can understand that. Then I will not associate that with my happiness. Mm -hmm. Somewhere mm -hmm. we have decided that if this doesn't happen outside, then I will become unhappy. Mm -hmm. How have we decided it? Because we don't like to live with unknown things. We want mm -hmm. to have control. Mm -hmm. We want to be sure of mm -hmm. the outside also. Mm -hmm. So we keep trying to fix everything outside mm -hmm. so that we feel secure. Mm, yes. Inside there is some insecurity. To try to get rid of mm. that, we try mm. to have more control outside. Okay. Mm. Isn't mm. it? Mm. So now when you are trying to control that outside, now mm. you are trying to trying so hard that the other should do this. Why mm. they are not listening? They should mm. do it like this. Mm. Because somewhere you lose control outside mm. and you don't like that. You want that mm. control because okay. inside you are not secure. You are not mm. feeling Mm, Self-reprimation. Uh, inside your own capacity. feeling is lacking. That right mm, feeling is mm, lacking. Mm, mm. So now you are not happy within because you don't mm. have the right feeling. Mm. And you are trying to get this happiness from outside by controlling the outside. That's not working. Mm, mm. So you are, you know, you feel, okay, this is also not working. That is also not mm. working. You are mm. unhappy. Mm -hmm. But if we try to shift our focus to the inside mm -hmm. and we can notice that there are times when we can, like you said, see the feeling mm -hmm. and sometimes it works that you are able to bring back the feeling perhaps to the right feeling, mm -hmm. which is naturally acceptable to you. And you mm -hmm. may be able to appreciate the harmony that you feel within, mm -hmm. the calm that you feel within. Mm -hmm. But this, at that moment, I have seen it, I have experienced it also. Mm. Then why does it not happen again and again? Because again, my assumption is very strong mm. Mm. at the base. No? That assumption is driving my feeling. Okay. At this moment, with my thoughts, I have got the information that, you know, um, there is a coexistence. So mm. in my thoughts, I can analyze and I can even, you know, sort of uh, think about it and think that I have understood it. Mm -hmm. So at that moment, I may have uh, the right feeling. Mm -hmm. But I have not really understood it, meaning I have not really been able to observe mm -hmm. it myself. Only information. So therefore, that. that assumption that we are separate, I am the body, that may come flooding back some other mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And that is driving my feeling. Then again, mm -hmm. this happens. So I feel, oh, I slipped again. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I wouldn't call it failing. I would say that is part of the process. Everybody has to go through it. Mm. To go through the process of evolution. It's like, I keep repeating this, when a child is walking, first time, mm. does, the, does the child just get up and start running? No, no. The no, child no, no, takes no, a few, more, few, more, uh, few uh, unsteady see. steps and falls. Mm. Mm. Then gets up, tries again, falls. So many times mm. the child may fall. Mm. But then starts walking more steadily. Mm. And then at some point can walk faster mm. and then mm. start running also mm. Mm. without falling. So it is a process that takes time. How many years, one year, how many times? We don't have to see all that. Mm. We can enjoy the journey as it is going. Okay. Mm. Isn't it? But we focus on the end. Mm. That mm. I will be happy when I get there. And why okay. am I not getting there? Why am I not getting oh, okay, there? Okay. I keep becoming unhappy. So mm-hmm. that is my choice. Mm. I don't need to become. As soon as you become aware that you are unhappy, mm. stop. Ask yourself okay. what is naturally acceptable. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then have the right feeling within you. If you do this n number of times, slowly mm. those assumptions that are not in line, they mm. start falling. Okay. One more, one more doubt, Didi. Now yeah. I know things cannot be in my favor or according to me outside. I don't have the capacity to make it right or as per my expectation. Can I believe that outside some power is there, let us say, uh, power of God? Again, <clears throat> As per our uh, discussions, there is only two. One is space and units. Mm -hmm. In that units also, uh, 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 let us say, uh, uh, orders, material order, conscious entities. Mm -hmm. So beyond that, some power is there. I don't know where to draw from, where we keep that Uh, uh, space we can call it as God but as per our Upanishad Sarth Puranas some we 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 keep so many idols so many uh, uh, three crores of gods are there as per Hindu mythology my puja room is (laughs) full of so many things can I believe that See, when, if somebody is a realized person, Mm. somebody Mm. has attained this realization, they are able Mm. to see things the way they are, they are able to be in harmony all the time, every moment. Mm. So Mm. if there is somebody like this, Mm. we can take inspiration from them. Mm. 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 But if we pray and say that you please just make everything Mm. all right. No, no, no. Whenever we are believing something, then we mm. can't be sure of its existence, mm. Mm. isn't mm. it? Because we have not been able to see it for ourselves. Mm. 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 So therefore, all that doubt, that confusion. Okay. So if we can focus on trying to see things ourselves, mm. Mm. then we can eventually get rid of all our doubts, isn't it? Okay. Mm. Because mm. then I can say, I know, then I don't need mm. to ask somebody, is this okay, okay? is this not mm. okay? Mm. Mm. So I would say focus on that. Okay. Rather than believing, keep everything mm. open. Mm, mm, mm. Try to see this for yourself. Even mm. now when we say, I can see the coexistence. Can I really see the coexistence? See all that, if we try to tease out and try to see the details, mm. we find mm. that we, we, yes, cannot, yes. we have not been able to see it ourselves. Mm. We may have a lot of information. Mm. But and it's good to have the information also. Yes. yes. But don't just go believe that you already know it because then mm-hmm. you stop questioning. Okay. But keep that question open. You've heard of Ramna Maharshi, right? He just gave a very simple prescription mm. that for awakening, just keep asking, Who am I? Mm-hmm. 
And if you keep asking who am I, you will be able to realize. Hmm. Of course, you know, you have to be able to see, you know, ultimately see everything the way it is. That is what realization is, to see the truth, to be able to see the reality, everything in this existence, the way it is, Mm -hmm. isn't it? So to start that process, you have to start paying attention inside somewhere. Mm -hmm. So for that, he said, you ask this question, who am I? As long as you are asking this question, you are trying to know more and more and more detail. Hmm. Slowly, these things will get known by what, okay. by the, by being able to access these higher activities within us. Each one of us has those same, that same potential. All those hmm. activities are there. We just have to become aware of hmm. them, become conscious of them. For hmm. that process to happen. We have to go through at least first trying to be in harmony with him. Hmm. Because as long as there is disharmony, we are so busy with it, we can't pay attention to anything more than that. That Hmm. is only so disturbing. Hmm. So we have to fix that. And as we are fixing that and we become more and more in harmony, Hmm. and we keep asking questions, seeking the answers within, you will start getting the answers also. Mm-hmm. Right, TV. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. We'll try to see this directly. Try to observe the self. Try to observe the body. See that even when your eyes are closed, how are you seeing that the body is also there? So we had, you know, a little bit of observation regarding this. But um, we weren't able to do this fully. So we'll just do this now for a few minutes. And then we'll try to open up the next step also. So this is, in fact, you can say an extension of the first step, so to speak. Because in the first step, we were trying to see that I am there and the body is there. Now, we're just trying to see this interaction between the self and the body. What is this interaction that is going on between me and the body? (coughs) If you see, we have already been raising those questions and we have been trying to discuss some of those queries. So let us look at this interaction between myself and the body. I give instructions to the body. What instructions I give depends on what I think is important at that time for me. So I give that instruction to the body. So if I want to take some work from the body, as and when I want to take this work, I give it the instruction, like get up, walk, sit down, lie down, whatever it may be. What is this instruction? Some information. And in the body, many events are taking place. Digestion is happening. Um, Heart is beating. Blood is circulating. So many activities are taking place. These events are happening. And with this, certain sensations are generated. Now, I read those sensations that I think are important. So you can say, I taste the sensation that I read. So this sensation is also an information. So what is being said is that this interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information. Nothing physical is being transferred from one place to another, from the self to the body or from the body to the self. It is just this information that is there. We can reflect on this. Actually, I have a confusion with respect to the same thing. 
like when we close our eyes, there is thought process that will be coming to our mind. Not even closing eyes, also some in the, during the day also. Like we get these thoughts, is it being processed by our mind or a brain? And there's a confusion with the same. And uh, without our, uh, like it's not like we give an instruction, but uh, sometimes we, because of that uh, processing of the thoughts, we giggle or we feel sad, everything, all these expressions are being given out in the physical form. So that confusion is there with respect to my... Uh, yeah, so see, if we look at it like this, that we keep getting the thoughts, where are the thoughts coming from? Getting means what? From where are we getting them? Uh, like previous, uh, it might be some incidents or something. So is oh, but, it that we but can... But the thoughts are where? In the mind. Ah, so I am thinking those thoughts, no? Yes, yes. Ah, so that might be easier to see if we can see this, that I am thinking these thoughts. Yes. Agree. Otherwise, if I say I am getting the thoughts, then it looks like I may not have any control and some from somewhere they are coming. Mm, yeah. 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 That is one thing. And now when we are, the thoughts are processed, Obviously, without our instruction also, an expression comes in our face. It's, it comes out in the physical form. So is it that uh, it's only self or is it the body? Yeah, is try to. Uh, we are out of time and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. Okay. But try okay. to observe that when such thoughts come, mm -hmm. can you do without the expression on the face? And you will notice that you can do it. Uh, but I'm not being successful. That is what. Is yeah, we'll problem. discuss it. Try to observe it today. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank so we'll try to observe this, the self and the body directly. And this interaction between myself and the body, we'll try to pay attention to that today. And we'll take your observations tomorrow.